мабуть, технічні якісь проблеми. Є, мабуть, якісь технічні проблеми, приклади вам від нас. Тут, в цьому залі, ми маємо Юрій Нешебит з Цивільної соціальної організації «Форсів України». Тобто, флор є ваш. Добре. Добре, всім. I have been in the uh, uh, forestries for 20 years. I worked as a forester for 20 years. And my forestry was one of the perfect ones, but at some point it became impossible to continue my work and I had to stop it. I will now explain you some of the reasons. You were speaking of some uh, other re reasons, but the main reason is uh, total and terrible corruption. Uh, it was mentioned right now that 20% of planes went to war, but actually, in order to uh, avoid this corruption in the forestries, Well, if we did not have this corruption, we would not need any support from the West and we would not have Russia attacking us. I have been looking into the issue for quite some time and I understood that forestries in Ukraine are still in between one and two billion dollars per year. So for these 20 years, this could have been 40 billion dollars. At the same time, the United States and Europe is uh, now supporting us. Uh, over the last year, the world has given us about 28 billion dollars. So we, every one of us saw this corruption. Uh, we were supporting it. And this is what we got in the end. It's not the foresters that managed forestries. Forestries are managed by oligarchs who will win the elections and install their own people in high offices. Quite recently, Anthony Blinken, the state secretary of the US, has mentioned this same thing. Your main problem is corruption. He has given this example, you know, we, United States, we are supporting you uh, in fighting corruption. We have supported you in initiating the criminal case against uh, Mr. Kolomoisky, who uh, was uh, been his crimes and uh, trying to hide his money uh, in the United States of America. And also, have you had that? Biden was required to pay 500 bucks to enter the country. Okay, so, um, you know, corruption is uh, the main problem here. And I can share more stories about corruption in the forestries. It's uh, sometimes started from the lowest levels. Uh, the money is collected from forestries, the money is brought to Kyiv. So, so I can make a movie about corruption because oh it's it's such a well known information. I have huge uh, communities that I uh, manage on uh, Facebook. I have up to one million readers per year and I have people calling me and one of those people who was a CEO before, but he didn't want to cooperate with the system. And then he is asking me, you know, can you tell me how this and that gentleman was involved in corrupt activities and how they were involved in season uh, land, etc., etc. So I will not go into much detail here, but the first and most important problem in the forests is corruption and the second problem is lack of professionals now professionals want to grow forests but uh, the corrupt people don't they just want money 
I, I started my work based uh, back in the Soviet Union. Uh, there we had some uh, party officials said they were attracted, uh, the the uh, were followed, and uh, they had to be more or less honest. And here we are forced to pay money to someone. That was um, the approach that became popular. So it's quite a difficult subject, and of course I, I will have to mention some names, but yes, I will surely make a small a video, make it available on YouTube, and you can find me there. There are dozens of thousands uh, people uh, viewing my videos on YouTube for months, and the main and most important problem is uh, ubiquitous corruption. Unless we eradicate it, we will not get uh, any results with your North American uh, black walnut uh, or uh, fuel, etc. So when I started my work, uh, there was enough work for everyone. And, uh, even since being a child, uh, I was able my uh, first uh, money uh, was doing some minor forestry jobs we were collecting medicinal herbs we uh, were uh, collecting the uh, forestry products and I don't know uh, how it looked like in comparison with Western countries but surely much better than it looks currently so fighting corruption. First and most important part here is fighting corruption because as a part of this fight I can be helpful to you as well. We cannot really arrive at any results with those who are in power right now. So there was uh, one CEO who has arrived after me, he has graduated from uh, the Political Education Institute. He did not have any understanding about forestry, but he was a CEO and uh, these people are eager to speak when they are drunk enough. They explained how much money they paid to become a high ranking official. And yeah, thank you so much. Again, quite an interesting and